We have entrusted our brother Tom to God's mercy, and we now commit his body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope, in certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our frail bodies that they may be conformed to his glorious body, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be glory forever. Amen. Amen. You best get one in for Zach. Where is he? He's at the graveyard. What for? Ah, probably wants to hold on to his job. Don't be so cynical. It's the way we all feel. I mean, no one outside Tom's family's gonna miss him now he's gone. Three sons have lost a father and a woman has lost her husband. Hey, baby's gonna get his mitts on her. Oh, show some respect, can't you? At least today. Yeah. Oh, Jack. <laughs> Well, the gravesides above and beyond the call of duty. I didn't go for Trump King, if that's what you're thinking. But Rosemary's been very good to me. I owed it to her. On second thoughts, I don't think it's such a good idea. So you didn't expect Zach to be in there? It shouldn't make any difference. We're just friends going for a drink. But he might think there was something more than that. He's been to a funeral. He might get upset. We could go somewhere else. No, I don't think so. I, I should be with him. We can go for a drink another time. Yeah, yeah, of course we can. Yeah. Um, I better. Uh, yeah, and I've yeah. got things to. Uh... Well, I'll see you then. Yeah. I'm an old friend of his. Oh, really? How exactly? I'll uh, let you get on. Thanks for before by the graveside. I lost it there for a minute. It's okay. Hey, we'll see you right. You know that. How fond I was of Tom! <laughs> and he thought the world of you. I... I had a one day and I... Oh, yes. I didn't know I could have made him happy. Oh. For what it's worth, you'd have got our vault. Oh, please don't say that! <laughs> don't upset yourself. Oh, uh, Pearl is my guest today. She's not working. You are, love. Where have you been? The Americans call it closure. I'll explain later. I was really proud of you today, saying what you did. Oh, it wasn't just me. You and Mum. I blew it. No, I didn't. Don't be daft. No shame of being upset, we all were. Well, except Rosemary. Nobody would think that Helen was the grieving widow or not her. Oh, that's right. It doesn't matter who said what. The point is we did it together. Oh, Bob, what can I get you? Brandy, thanks, yeah, a large one. Where are the twins? I'm on my lunch break. I'm in Malina with them. I thought you'd have been here before now. He's been packing. Mr. Hawk is going on a training course. Induction. Not in Ireland. Can you teach you about fucking tights to the man? Exactly. It's obligatory. Hang on. When are you going? Any minute now. But you're done for two shifts tomorrow. If you don't like it, then you can fire me, because after the day I've had, I couldn't care less. Vivian, I am going to Milton Keynes, whether you like it or not. Why? You only 
to get upset and manage. He's in a bit of a state. Hmm. And he's not the only one. Did you notice how upset the brothers were? What about the ice, maybe? Oh, well. Rosemary will always keep her feelings to herself. But one of them is upset because they're guilty. The question is, which one? Apparently, you're the chief constable. That's right, Charles Bourne. We met earlier. Well, tell me, Mr. Chief Constable Charles Bourne, why Tom's murderer is still at large? We're doing everything we can. Uh, you would say that, wouldn't you? Yeah, useless article. That's enough, Auntie. No, 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 no. Why don't we just go and get a no. little bit of fresh air? No. Have you uh, made any plans for the future? Oh, yes. Well, I suppose that rather depends on what it says in Tom's will. Mm. I'm leaving it tomorrow. Ah, well, I uh, hope you're not going to forget me. I'm sorry. Mm. Well, I did tip you off about a certain bit of uh, pilfering. Oh, and now it's payback time, is that it? <laughs> I could be very helpful to you. We shall see. Hmm. Who's that? You obviously know her. Uh, her name's Carrie. She was my mum's nurse when she was ill. I want much more than a kid. Well, she's taking the trouble to come here. The least you can do is thank her. All right. Thank you. Thank you. It's lovely to see you here. I'll see you a bit later. Uh, Can't be easy for her. I mean, the last do she had here was her wedding. Aye, next one will be a housewoman. Well, let's face it. She stands a fair chance of copping the lot. Goodbye, my little ones. You be good for your mummy. I'll ring you when we get there, and I'll ring every day. On your part, kid. It's time we were off. Better go. Ready? Willing and eager. Should miss the most of the traffic. Uh, I think you should, uh... I'll go see you. Right, Edward, lead on. The sooner I get my hands on a pair of pretty denier, move back. Had a good look round. That's a lovely house. Yeah, it is. Tom always wanted to own it. Yeah, well, he didn't enjoy it for long. Look, I'm sorry about your dad. I could see how upset you were in the chair. Why have you come? After all this time. Hello, Kerry. Jimmy, Matthew. You gave us quite a shock walking into church like that. I'm sorry. Uh, did you read about Dad in the paper? I did see it there, yes. Can you excuse me? Maybe see you later. Not very friendly. Never mind, though. He's brought nothing but trouble to this village. I'll oh, give it a rest, will you? Uh, oh, Jack's right. Look what he did to our charity. That dumped her at the altar. She did no wrong. He sacked me and Jean for going out together just because he wanted her to himself. Mm. And I saw thumping for what he did to Edna. Now somebody was going to kill him anyway. Will you listen to yourselves? Hey, have you forgotten what he did to Andy? Poisoned his sheep, set fire to his barn. What for? Greed, pure and simple. All for his blaming development. And he killed God. Remember that time playing cricket on Scarborough Beach? And he spent all afternoon bowling at me and couldn't get me out. His shoulder seized up. He could hardly move. <laughs> he came back for more the next day. No, he wouldn't give up till he got you out. And he did. Caught by me. 327 I'd scored. Yeah, what? right. 327 and every one of them run, I were knackered. You were knackered, he were dead. Uh, <clears throat> hello. I'd, uh, I'd like to propose a toast to a, uh, a nasty, money-grabbing and scheming murdering apology for a human being. Tom King, 
Good riddance. Ah, good riddance. Good riddance. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about me. Yeah. yeah. Dad, Dad. I'll be glad when today's all over. There's a reading of the will tomorrow. If it gets rid of Rosemary, bring it on. Oh, so this is where you're hiding. We wanted a bit of time on our own. Well, that's understandable, of course. The guests are starting to leave. I think you should come and say goodbye. You can manage that, can't you? Rosemary's been managing alone for the past half an hour. I'd just like a little help, all right? I don't want any unpleasantness, not today of all days. That's not too much to ask, is it? And what about finding our dad's killer, Charlie? Is that too much to ask? <laughs> Sooner or later, whoever did it will make a mistake. And when they do, we'll get them. And that's a promise. <laughs> Over to Parkhead next at 7.30 for all the Champions League action as Celtic take on AC Milan.